What's up everybody? Hope you've all had an awesome week. Welcome back to another show. This week I have a really interesting thought that I think I might have some answers for, for you guys. The power of music. Why is it that in times like this, in any times, music has the power to change us? My name is Marcus Smith, entrepreneur, motivational speaker, extreme athlete and coach, although I'm not getting much of the extreme athlete right now because of what's going on, I am planning, and soon I will be getting back out there. Actually managed to have a few runs this week here in Dubai, and I hope you guys did too. One thing I can say, if you have been in some sort of state of lockdown and you are out and about now, then please take it easy, go slowly. This is my weekly reflection on all things gone by this week and what's important and what I've learned and what I wanna share with you guys. One of the keys is what I said just there, the power of music how it changes us, how it helps us, how it stimulates us. Sometimes it makes us happy, sometimes it makes us sad. Before I get there, one thing that we've been talking about a lot and I was actually speaking about in a piece I did this week with a friend of mine, Gaj, we did a webinar this week, which I can link to, it'll be down in the show notes. You guys can check that out. We talked about fitness is the cure. We've been using that at my fitness company, InnerFight, all along since the start of COVID-19. And a lot of people think that we mean that from a physical fitness side. What I want to promote thought for you guys on and what I've been reflecting on quite a bit this week is actually how much time we're spending on everything fitness related that isn't physical. What does he mean? What is he even talking about? What I mean here folks is what you're doing for your emotional fitness. What are you doing for your mental fitness as well? Have a think about it. What things do you do daily that help you become mentally stronger, that help you become emotionally stronger, deal with the situations that we're facing a lot at the moment, which is a lot, really, and I've been thinking about this a lot, a lot of it's very, very emotional, isn't it? We're being told, we're being pushed, we're being shoved, and we react in quite a funny way. So what do we do on a daily basis? And I spoke about this during the week on my Daily Dose, my daily Instagram show, and I put out some thoughts that I wanna review here and reflect on a little bit. When we wake up in the morning, what do we do? What are we feeding our brains? Personally, I sometimes get caught in the trap of picking up my phone and going straight to town on it. When I do that, I feel it's quite toxic. It doesn't really help me, it doesn't serve me. One of the things that I started doing a few years ago is actually reading for 15 or 20 minutes first thing in the morning. This is a tool that I feel helps my mental fitness to really build it and to make it stronger rather than maybe emotionally attacking me with news, emails that I don't need to see first thing in the morning. We spend a lot of time which if you reflect on it, which I really through these shows I'm encouraging you guys to do, if you reflect on the time that you're spending doing things that might actually positively or even negatively, because we're gonna turn the negatives into positives, impact your mental fitness and your emotional fitness, you'll realize there's quite a lot going on. Things that we consume, people that we consume, conversations that we have, channels that we go to, be it websites, all of these things are impacting our mental and emotional fitness. Our physical fitness is, if you like, the icing on the cake. If we don't get those other two silos right from the start, then the physical fitness is, meh, it's just there. But those other two silos are super important. So I wanna challenge you on that level as well, because I challenge myself on that level. And I've been thinking about it a lot this week, and that's what this show is for. It's for reflection, it's to share things with you guys. Let's go on to the power of music, the title of this show, and something I've been thinking about a lot. I've been spending this whole time, the last two months, holly my wife's away, as you guys know. I've been spending my time alone, and I've been putting music on, all sorts of different music. When I wanna work out, I put on rap. Sometimes I put on The Prodigy when I really wanna cut sick and go crazy. Other times of an evening, I might put on something that's a little bit more relaxed. At the weekends, I've massively enjoyed, and this is where I wanna take this to, some of the concerts. There's been some amazing things. I actually did a quiz on my Instagram Live the other day, which was a massive hit, because I went through all the different things, all the different pieces of music that have been played by different people that have really touched me, and I think touched a lot of people. We saw Post Malone last weekend 
doing a full set of Nirvana from his own living room. And it got me thinking. And I was like, wow, that's so powerful. There was a donation button on there. And this is really where I think it's powerful, is that he was collecting donations to then give to a charitable cause. We saw on Christmas, on Easter Day, sorry, Bocelli singing Amazing Grace. We've seen lots of different things going on when it comes to music. Fatboy Slim, his daughter, in their house. We've seen the Defected Music Festival. I've got loads of them here that I could play to you guys. We saw Kurt Smith, Mad World, with his daughter. I've seen Robbie Williams. We've seen all of these different things going on and people releasing different bits of music that might be theirs, might not be theirs. This was definitely one of my favorites. You guys might resonate with this. The Foo Fighters, times like these. This was on the BBC. Very, very powerful where so many different artists all came together to sing, I, I won't sing it for you. What it's got me thinking about and the reflection that I want to share with you guys is the generosity of these people. As I said, when Post Malone was singing Nirvana covers, he did that whole Nirvana concert in his lounge, there was a subscribe button. A lot of these initiatives are to raise funds for those in need. And this coronavirus has caused issues for a number of people around the world. And people are leveraging their fame and their skill set to help others. I'm going to say that again. People are leveraging their fame and their skill set to help others. I believe that every human being is famous to a certain extent. And every human being has a skill set. And what I want to challenge myself with, and also challenge you guys with this week, is what you're doing to leverage your fame and your skill set for the benefit of those in your close communities or maybe in your wider communities. Now, obviously, these guys make a lot of money. And someone would immediately react and go, they make so much money, they can afford to give stuff away for free. Yes, they can, maybe. But who are we to judge their financial situation? I can guarantee you, and I always say it, I say it a lot with Inner Talks, which is actually happening next Thursday, that everyone has a story, and everyone's story will connect with someone. It'll impact someone. It'll help someone. I'm not asking you guys to spend money. I'm not asking you to invest a whole load of time. What I want to challenge you with this week and what I'm continuing to challenge myself with is how I'm using my position in society and how you use your position in society in the various close and wider communities that you're a part of to help those around us. And how you're using your skill set I'm using my skill set at this time. And more importantly, because COVID will finish. Will things go back to normal? You know I think they won't. Everything will be different forever. But on an ongoing basis, what are you doing to impact the world? How are you helping? Because I honestly believe that music, yes, is very powerful and we connect with it. But all of these artists are making an impact that's so much bigger than just the emotion of the music. That's my thoughts. That's my review for this week. Thanks a lot for coming by. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome weekend. Catch you next week.